What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. Yet another day of the Carnival promo. I'm excited. We've actually already cracked 6 p.m. UK, or because of daylight savings, it's it, everything's weird right now. We've gone ahead an hour in Vancouver, but I know you guys in Europe and the UK don't get your daylight savings time for another couple of weeks. So I'm all sorts of screwed up, but we got another episode to record and a hell of a lot of packs to open. So I have gotten myself 26 packs in the store, of which 20 are 81 plus packs. Um, five of them are gold two player packs. And then we've got like, I think a bronze pack or something in there as well. Now I spammed the living hell out of uh, silver packs and bronze packs. And I'm gonna say this, silver packs right now might be the new meta. They might be the new meta dudes. Um, now you're gonna get some shit sprinkled in there as well, but overall man silver packs were just so good to open last night was making good profit off of silver packs was making good profit off of um, uh, Bronze packs as well like even like attribute cards just sell for good money right now So silver packs could be the way forward um, And yeah, then again bronze packs were paying out really really good So we did really good last night made a good chunk of profit um, used up not even a big portion of the club to get the 81 rated uh, 81 plus packs, but we did use a portion of the club as well um, Also was seeing some cards going up on um, Bid for relatively cheap so picked up a few more players for cheap got an extra um, David Silva got a Godin got an extra um, uh, Got an extra Cavani so we've got even more players ready to go in preparation for the cry Crap. Now, being that it is 6 p.m. UK, let's go have a look and see what we got before we get into the pack opening. So, did we get anything added on? Strength and discipline. So, we'll do that for sure. What is that? Just a premium gold player pack. Okay, so 25k pack. This one shouldn't be too expensive. And uh, I'll make sure to try and use as many non-rare golds as possible for that. Oh, they gave... Oh, we got the flashback company! You know what, man? I'm kind of a little bit disappointed, I'm not going to lie. The leaks have so far all been true, man. That's disappointing. I I mean, most of my Twitch chat were talking that company is going to come in, in like a couple of days ago. Uh, and it's been all over Twitter, man. So there he is. Um, I kind of was hoping that they'd give him a big boy like upgrade back back in his heyday which is what did what did ea stated as 2011 to 2012 vincent company was rapid as fuck man so i don't know why they've given him 73 sprint speed and 65 acceleration 60 agility 43 balance what the 66 dribbling it's kind of a dead card man that's kind of a dead card Yeah, so then that leads to leads us to believe that the next flashback player that's coming will indeed be the one from the US because there are no US or Belgian icons in the game. So for their daily releases of the icons for each nation that's covered in Carnival, the ones that don't have icons, it looks like the FIFA community was correct in assuming that it would be a Belgian flashback and a um, USA flashback. So some sort of USA flashback, I guess, is coming in a couple of days. Um... Oh, and there you go. There's the Belgian. Wow. There's the Belgian uh, Carnival player. Ooh. Ooh, that's a tasty card right there. 78 composure, 75 reactions is a big ew. 77 finishing is a big ew. 62 vision is awful. Oh, my God. Um, well, you could, you could drastically improve his dribbling and shooting if you gave him a sniper. I don't think you're improving much of his finishing though, unfortunately, with a sniper. But I think a sniper boosts his, re boosts reaction and composure, right? Yeah, he looks like a cool card. I mean, I, I honestly still, I honestly still think he'd be a semi-decent, um, decent card and usable card, but... I don't know, man. It just depends on his cost, really. What, what do we have this guy at costing? 84 rated with two informs. 83 rated with one inform. So 84s are at an all-time low right now. But still, that's still probably going to cost you, what, like 50k, 60k, something like that? I think so, right? Yeah. 
Maybe more? He ruined two of his most important stats. Oh, what are we talking about? Composure and stuff? How many days left on this Hulk? Four. Again, I love I love the colors, man. I do. Like that that all that shit is cool, man. The artistic side of me really likes like what they're doing right now. Okay, so we didn't get another icon moments release from EA. Obviously. Just gonna double check just in case I missed something. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And then it's all just league SBCs. 100k? Ugh. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'm not gonna touch that card at all. I have absolutely zero interest in touching that card. Same thing with the Hulk, no interest. Same thing with the company. Unfortunately, um, if we don't get loans for these cards, I'm not gonna test them out on this series, man. I just, I, 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 I'm kind of done just doing every single possible player that they release, man. If I was running a rich man Road to Glory, I'd be down, for sure. But not, not, not on like a, not on a poor man or first owner or RTG. I don't think so, at least. Oh well, really wanted a Mounier. See, a Mounier would have been an incredible uh, Carnival card, man. That's okay though. Hey, it is what it is, right? I mean, I like that EA are still dropping content. The, 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 these player drops today, for me specifically, aren't anything I'm super excited about. But they're still good. I know that I'm sure there's a bunch of uh, people that are excited. Probably about company. Maybe they're a big fan of Vincent Company. Maybe they're big Man City fans. Uh, maybe they're, you know, Belgian and excited about the Belgian player. I can see him fitting into people's teams. I'm not going to be too toxic about it. For me specifically, they don't fit in my squad at all. So it's kind of a dead day in terms of promos, which is why I'm so happy. At least we got those 81 plus packs and stuff to open. Um, so let's get through the rare player packs first. Every uh, untradeable duplicate uh, will do another 81 plus pack as well. Holy shit. Did I get an inform on the first pack? That's going to be a shit rating. Oh, not even. Another untradeable inform. Put that into the uh, into the system, man. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take it. That's good stuff. Beautiful. Didn't we get flashback company in FIFA 18? I think we got flat. I think it was an end of era. I could be wrong. But that card looked good. Didn't they make his end of era have like 80 pace or something crazy? I don't know, man. I'm not sure. But hey ho, it is what it is. It's all good. <laughs> um, uh, Achinti with the gifted sub. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. But Alex and Freezy both using their Twitch Prime subs Amen. on this channel. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate you all. Uh, Rob Amen. Perry, thank you for the six. God bless. Izorian, thank you for the big boy 44. Appreciate you, dudes. God bless it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, only if it's an untradeable um, are we gonna are we gonna rinse it though? M M Samir, thank you. And then again tomorrow we'll do another big uh, Epi pack opening and hopefully EA drops something a little bit more exciting. Amen. Um, although what I'm going to do as well is prepare for a big uh, Epi pack opening. And I think what we could do tomorrow that's cool. I, I had to get rid of my Kiko Casilla for that League SBC, so now we got him again. Uh, what I might do actually tomorrow, because it is tomorrow is what it's. Oh yeah, to no next episode is uh, a weekly stream highlight, and there is a lot of idiotic and hilarious content from this last week. A lot of trolling, a lot of Fortnite funny moments and trolling with me and Nep. Uh, a hell of a lot of FIFA insane gameplay, um, pack pulls, all of that stuff. So no, it's actually stream highlights next episode. So it'll be the episode after that. Or sorry, the, the video after that. Next video is stream highlights. Video after that will be another big uh, Carnival promo pack opening. A lot of Baby Shark techno remixes. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Exactly. I'm officially fed up with FIFA 19. This is the only thing I love doing, man. I just played the three most stressful and irritating bits of gameplay I, I could ever have imagined to have to deal with before doing this recording today, man. And one of which I lost so unfairly. The other two I barely won. One at the death. One at penalty penalty kicks or penalty shootout. Like, ugh. Gross. Yeah, I got room in the trade pile, so I'll toss that stuff uh, into the into the dupes. Okay, so from here, 20 81 plus packs. Now, yesterday, during the Epi recording, we opened five of these and we had three walkouts. 
So I'm not expecting to get, you know, just extrapolate that across 20, but if I could get another three walkouts, I would be obviously super, super, super excited. I think I probably am going to expect one. Oh, first one! Jesus Christ! Oh, it's not a Carnival! First one's a walkout! CDM. Conte! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow! Hey, I have the team of the year, Conte, from a very similar pack, actually. 89 rated player, dude. The Cruyff craft continues, boys. <laughs> Bro, I thought that was going to be Matweedy, man. Every part of me was like, oh, 85 Matweedy. Cool. Yo, let's go, dude. What a start to the 81 plus packs. What the hell? Get those Conte emotes flowing in the chat, dudes. Yeah, I, I, I mean, come on. With my pack luck... I think I would have been an idiot to think it was anything other than Blaze Matweedy. Alright, the grind's so far been worth it. How much is... You know what? How much is Conte? Value-wise, he really is... Value for me in this club, at the end of the day, is only as much as the cheapest 89 rated card, okay? So... Doing the 81 plus packs, a lot of people would say, oh my god, you just got a 210k value player. That's amazing. Really, for me, his value is the cheapest 89 rated player you can get, right? So I know that we got a 200k player. Um, but end of the day, it really just more matters what his cheapest 89 is because he's just going into an SBC. <clears throat> so I don't know what a cheapest 89 is. Actually, I do know. it was. Uh, I just bought one. It's like 40k. So 40k value is still good. I'll take that. That's almost, uh, what, eight of these packs paid for. So I'm down. That works out. Uh, now, is that an untradeable? Okay, we're good there. 50k? No, because I picked up, uh, I, I picked up a couple of, uh, a couple of 89s yesterday, and they were like 40k or something. Pretty cheap. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Either way, that's, that's the value. Hopefully explained it out to you guys. All right, second 81, no boards, no nothing. Do I think Desai is worth? I think he's absolutely worth. Yes, that is that is an end game card. 100%. I personally would never do him, but it, that is absolutely an end game card. Okay. No duplicates that we got to trade uh deal with, so I'm down with that. Oh, and when I get a duplicate as well, what we could do is go look at the other SBC, so Three packs opened, two boards, one walkout. Another Sewell. That's not bad. 84 rated Sewell. I'll take it. That's a duplicate, and I think it's untradeable. So we'll have to go. We'll have to go buy a a Sule or a Sewell, however you say his name. Desai or Cannavaro? Oh, Desai for sure. Desai for sure, brother. Oh shit! No, our Sule is tradable. Perfect. I think that means we got two Sules on the trade pile, man. Holy shit! Okay. Never mind, we get to keep going. Conte's 210k. He is, yeah. He is. Jack, thank you for the prime, bro. G Barlow, thank you for the 33. God bless. Hey, another board. Oh, trash board. Trash board. Is Socrates worth it, chat? Yes, 100%. I, I would say 100% Socrates is worth every bit of money you're willing to spend on him, man. That's an endgame card as well. Unlucky. I hate you guys. I think that's untradeable. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. How about uh, Mr. Petit? Absolutely worth it as well. 100%. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right. That takes us to a quarter done. One walkout. Three boards, one walkout from five. Not complaining, dudes. I'm 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 cool with it. I'm cool with it. The more high-rated uh, players we get, the better. I have baby Socrates from a baby icon pack. He's end game for me. Shoots from anywhere. Yeah, that's GG's. That's GG's. Uh, do you think in FIFA 20, 85 plus should be? Oh, fucking Ronaldo! No. My ears are bleeding, but I don't care. SXXDE, 56 months. Four months away from getting the Icon sub badge and being put into the VIP group for five-year subs and YouTube friends and all that stuff. Um, 
Thank you, man. Another month as a tier two, $10 a month supporter. I appreciate you, brother. God bless you, man. Thank you, thank you. Greetings from Denmark. Yo, I have so many Viking viewers. So many Nordic viewers, man. Denmark, Sweden, Iceland, Norway. Crazy. Crazy. Like, that's a big part of my viewership on Twitch. Uh, YouTube, it's kind of similar. YouTube, it's mainly UK and USA. That's really my main viewership on YouTube. So, the seven people that watch the YouTube videos, um, like, four of them are from the UK, three of them are from the US. And like a quarter of them are from Canada. A quarter of one person remaining is from Canada. We love the Cray people? What do you mean, bro? What are you trying to say? I'm not Cray, dude. Come on, man. Don't be like that. All right. Pack number seven. Come on. One more walkout. I'll be happy. In board? Nope, another board. I've lo completely lost track of the boards. Ribbery? No. Oh my god. Ribbery's a Carnival player, isn't he? Wait, isn't he? Or is he an SBC? Damn, dude. Yeah, he is a Carnival player, right? Damn. Okay, never mind. Well, obviously, it wouldn't have been Ribbery then. I wonder if I'm going to even pack one of these Carnival players. I hope so. That's going to be one of the goals of this event, is to pack a Carnival player. I should probably do the Carnival event team, shouldn't I? Damn, that's tough. Yeah, I should. Every event, we do a promo squad, right? And so far, you know what, man? Once I get to 10 of those packs, let's go create that team real quick. I just, I just want to see where we're at in terms of the Carnival craft. How many, how many players have we crafted, i.e. packed, etc.? Be interesting to see. No icons. I'm not grinding any icons. We did the Mendy. So that's one of the Carnival crafts. Um, we got a Kante. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just Mendy and Kante, really. Right? I can't think of anything else we've hit from the... Uh, from the Carnival pack spamming, or even from the SBCs. Good lord. All right, these aren't so great, dudes. Did we get lightning rounds? Oh, I'm pretty sure we've got lightning rounds. All right, so 10 packs opened. Come on, can we get another walkout? Ah! Oh, no. 10 packs opened, I think, honestly, like six boards. Six boards and one walkout. I think it's six boards. I'll take an 84, Allen. That might be a duplicate, honestly. Yeah, I did get a few good walk... Oh, God. Uh, is he a duplicate? Tradable or untradable? ay 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 Okay. Um, oh, no. Okay, well, we got to do another 81 plus then. So let me go... Uh, get an Allen first. Have 84s increased in price in any way? I don't know that there's much of a reason that they would have, but... Now I got to be able to separate the 80... Oh, God, the 82. Um... How am I going to do that exactly? Something like that? Hey, man. I think that's the right play. Oh, what? Uh oh. Ooh. Yes, 36 for him. That's a decent look. I wonder what, what's his actual going rate, dudes? What is his going rate? Did we just do a little bit of uh of 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 sniping? Oh. Never mind. Apparently he's the exact price that I just got him for. Damn it. Feels bad, man. I thought I was a Canadian sniper there, dudes. Oh well. Uh, and then we go... Okay, where are you, Sir Allen? There he is. Okay. Okay. 
do, 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 do. All right. Time to get rid of Mr. Bartra. So I'll take us up to 2181 plus packs open. Oh, yeah. And, and I unlocked another foot, uh, foot swap. Did I forget about Wea in battles? You know what I need to not forget about is I believe there's another foot swap in squad battles. So on stream today, we need to play a few as well as get another, what do I need? Another five wins in champs to get gold three? God damn, it's been a rough weekend of foot champs, man. I've had absolutely no joy playing it. I guess that's no different than any other time playing foot champs. But uh, I still need four or five wins for champs. And then I also need a couple of wins in squad battles before late Sunday night. Well, by the time you're watching this, hopefully I'll already have played the games so that I can get the foot swap player, right? Okay. So there's that Godin we bought as well. Bro, prices are fantastic, man. Let's do this, this, and this. Let's get rid of the untradables first, which I think we already did, yep. Yeah, other than the 83s, which is fine. That. So I gotta start buying back the uh the, the rares, man. I gotta start buying back the rares, dude. But I do technically have two days to build the team. Or get 20 more 81 plus packs. I think we'll be all right. I need to play four games. Still don't understand why they made Ebra that cheap mental. I, I agree. I do agree, man. That Ebra, like, was crazy. I'm obviously happy. But at the same time, it kind of makes Ebra not that special. Because anybody at the time could have done that Ebra. If you play any amount of gameplay. Or even spent a minute amount of money on the game. You would have been able to, to get that Ebra. So it kind of makes him not that special. The only thing that might make him a little bit rare is because he was relatively early in the game. And uh, a lot of people that have Ebra might have just stopped playing the game. Because of how dog shit the game is. Gameplay wise. Disclaimer, of course, for all the nerds that think I mean the whole game sucks. I didn't do him, I forgot. Yeah, that's tough, dude. It's probably the best value for money SBC that EA have ever released. was during team of the year as well is that when they released uh the flashback ebra i can't remember when they uh they 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 made his flashback for i've completely forgotten actually was it for oh we got another walkout come on no no carnival fuck isco oh my god 289 rated walkouts man i'm done that set of that set of 81 plus packs have just been paid for. Conte with a 45k or 50k value because of his rating. Isco with a 45-50k value because of his rating. That literally pays for these packs. So, I'm going to go do another, obviously another 20 for next episode. Bro, insane pack luck, man. Two huge walkouts in what? 21 81 plus packs. I'm down. Again, it doesn't matter what his value is, right? It's just the cheapest, uh, it's the cheapest one for 89s. Oh, and of course, now there you go. So he's about as close as, as, as close as you're going to get to the cheapest 89. Is mine tradable or untradable? Did we buy him? We did buy him. How much did we buy him for, dudes? Or is he a pack vulture? I got him for 41k. Oh yeah, because we bought them when they were even cheaper. Let's go. I did this on stream. I'm going to hold on to this card, by the way. Absolutely holding on to that card. I'm not going to sell him. 41k. We got another 89 rated player ready to go. So that's good. Hell yeah, dude. All right, we're set. Anything else from these, what, nine packs remaining? I'm happy. I'm happy. In fact, let's hold on a second here. Let's go put together that uh, that Icon Craft team. So this is the team that I'm using right now in Champs. I just discarded um, the Lone Balak. First five games, I really didn't like Balak. Final 15 games, really enjoyed Balak, and I already miss him. 
now that I have to use Frank Reichardt again, I really do miss Balak. In fact, Frank Reichardt barely lasts outside of 45 minutes. I bring on Paul Pogba pretty damn fast. Uh, been testing out instead of Alfonso Davies, this 87 Sané. He's dog shit. So fucking dog shit. He's just not the type of player I like, man. I do think a lot of it comes down to the three-star weak foot. Um, but he feels like he's got about... I would say he feels like he's got about 60 balance and about 35 composure. Like, the amount of missed chances and terrible first touches he's taken hey, is just crazy. Like, why is that? Let me go look at Alfonso Davies. I... It, that doesn't make that much sense to me. I know Alfonso Davies has absolutely mental agility, which makes him really good, but I think it's a four-star weak foot more than anything. I really do. Yeah, his reactions go up to 81. Is it 81? Well, we're not going to be able to find out here, but I think it is 81, yeah. Anyways, uh, Reese Nelson we brought on as a super sub for when... Um, uh when mbappe is exhausted again no goal scoring production or anything out of him but he was fun to use it was fun to use i can't expect much from a player that has like mid 70s in passing and fucking 66 long passing and you know um i couldn't really get him in front of goal like 70 reactions and 70 composure like uh, he was fun to use but this card is you know utterly useless in terms of what what is the meta in the game uh nowadays so I'll need to find a replacement for him to bring in as well. Let's actually do that right now. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, I could test out a Piatek, really. I want to use Bale as well up next, actually. I want to see. I want to see uh, a net ranting rants and raves about that Bale. So I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna test out that Bale once uh, Sane goes. We'll go Bale and Petit. And then I'll have Bale on, what, 7 chem? Which I think should be fine. I don't think Bale off of chem is going to be too big of a deal. All right, so maybe we'll test out Piatek for Ibra. See how Piatek plays. Okay, so there's the uh, the dream team as of right now. Squad selector. Uh, so winter refresh, obviously not. The, that was the last promo. What, 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 did the, what did we have to achieve in this winter refresh? Okay, so final look at the winter refresh squad. I think we did pretty damn good in that event, didn't we? Crafted him, got him, got him, packed him, packed all of these guys from the OTW packs. And then I think there's a few more players that we used through SBCs as well. So Winter Refresh was uh, was pretty damn successful. Now, rename it to Carnival. Uh, Carni puta madre. Carni all. Okay. Now you guys are going to have to help me with this. Um... I can't go most recent because that includes God knows how many players I've purchased when they were cheap. So that doesn't count. Can you clear the team? Is there any way to clear the team? Do I have to do it? I have to do it one by one. I think I got to do it one by one. Yo, that Arsenal game, 2 nothing, man. What are you guys, what are you guys saying? What are you guys saying about that? I only got to watch that like in the background. So I'm going to have to watch the highlights tonight. R2? No, that's in, uh, I think that's in um, SBCs you can do that. What do you guys think? Every time I looked up and was watching Ozil, he looked so disinterested in the game. Big win. Oh, yeah, no. Not even talking result. Like, that's massive. Massive game, man. That was, I mean, a huge game for Man U, of course, as well. So, Arsenal showing up to this one is pretty goddamn impressive. <clears throat> Reckon it'll be downhill for United for a few games now. Yeah, maybe reality hitting them in the face for a little bit. I mean, their their record under Ollie has been insane. So, Chelsea drew. Yeah, thanks to Eden Hazard. They're about to take an L. Okay, um, let me see. Guess I'll have to do newest and just filter through all the dumb shit. Okay, so we did get an Isco. Pretty damn good. Um... There's the Kante. I mean, I don't know if I want to really consider like a Sule. I, I'd say like 85 rated players are better. Um, yes, Vargas, maybe. Let's see, Godin we bought for the event. Um, God, here. Uh, uh, yeah, all of this is all of this is just purchased morons. 
And these guys are packed from the uh, the league SBCs as well. Otamendi, I guess, is not bad. That was another good one. Another good pull. Um, or sorry, another good pickup. And I don't know, like, do you guys want me to count the players I bought for cheap? Like the 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 Silva and the and the Godin. Does that count? Would you guys count that as a carnival event? I'm buying the players during the event. Would you guys want me to include that in the team or just like just what I get from packs? What do you guys think? No, I haven't done it before, so yeah, you know what? Let me um let me replace him. That doesn't yeah, that wouldn't make too much sense. Because we're more talking about like pack pulls and stuff, right? So Kimmich and Ozil, there you go. I'm just trying to stack up the club as much as possible. Cavani, I'm not gonna count, obviously. Um Asensio being an 85 rated, maybe we count him. Maybe. Mendy, I would count. Naldo, I would count. Um, this is all just stupid shit from the, the leagues again. There we go. So, Ozil and Kimmich. Sure. I'll count them. Um, I think that's it, really, right? Yeah, that's not... I mean, honestly, that's not great. It really isn't that great. All right, that's where we're looking, man. That's where uh, that's where we're looking. Nick, you took out Otamendi? Yeah, but the, we picked him up. We didn't pack him, right? So it's the same thing. I'm not going to include Godin. I'm not going to include... Um, I'm not going to include the other one either. I'm not going to include players that we purchased. I think, that, I think that would be a little bit silly. All right, so so far, Carnival's, I guess, looked pretty useful in terms of crafting Cruyff, but that's about it. The luck in terms of usable, fun players is non-existent, man. I, I hope by the end of this event, we can get one Carnival player. That would be worth our time spent. Uh, Tom, thank you for the 19, man. Barks TV, thank you for the 8. Appreciate you, brother. What's up, Chubb? I'm chilling, man. Andreas, thank you. Appreciate the support, guys. All right. What the hell? That was weird. I pressed R2 and they moved into the uh, quick cell. Man, maybe my controller is broken, bro. Can't tell you how many times I've tried to do a low driven and they just chip the ball like idiots. All right, no walkout. No complaints, though. Whatever we get here, no complaints. I think that's another untradeable Cancelo. We already have him, don't we? Actually, I think the one that we have... I think the one that we have might be tradable. Is this guy worth anything? I think I'm going to sell him if I have him. Hold on a second. I know I have him. Is the one that I have tradable or not? Yeah, he is. Um, what's his price? Oh, he's not really worth much. You know what, man? Wingbacks, I kind of want to hold on to. Like, high-rated wingbacks, I think, are ha always have the best chance of skyrocketing in price. So, like, Kolarov and players like that, if I get them as duplicates, I think I'm going to hold on to them. They end up being super, super useful for SBCs. Whereas, like, goalkeepers, center back strikers, those ones I either sell or, like, even discard. That's what I'm thinking right now. I've got the room on the trade pile, so why not? Rom Portuguese from Juve. I uh, dude, that that's about the like 45th Cancelo I've packed. Not the best time to do uh SBCs. Too many jackoffs outbidding me. Best to do it at night. It's always the best to do SBCs when there's less people on the uh, on the game, my dude. If you're bidding on players, whether it's regular rare golds or um non-rare golds or you, you're trying to get some high rated players always best to do it when there's less people competing of course right which is the evening time in the americas so super late at night uk or europe or like i guess super early in the morning uk europe like 6 a.m uk 7 a.m europe there's like nobody on that's like midnight my time that's usually when i do all my bidding and shit 
is wasted wednesday this week it is it is it's gonna be fun man it's gonna be fun we're gonna do a big pack opening hey, on man. the rich man account just just for fun raising money for cancer research again drinking beers all stream um we'll probably just have some fun with it i, I don't like the whole 193 thing i just find it boring but just for a bit of fun just to take part Considering every content creator, YouTuber, streamer is doing one by three. Um, and I think I think Skills is the only one that's hit a one nine three out of everybody. So for Wasted Wednesday, just as some fun content, we'll just rip a bunch of drafts to see if we can get a one nine three. If I get a one nine three, I said I would gift a hundred subs to my Twitch channel, and we would do a uh, we would we would do maybe something for YouTube as well. We'll see. But just for that drinking stream, we'll do it. Uh, Tittle, thank you for the 22 tier 2, man. God damn, these final packs are so shit. So shit, dude. What the hell? Castro did, but the manager fucked it. No, that well, that's exactly why. He didn't get it, unfortunately. I saw that all over Twitter yesterday. On my diet, do I still have one cheat day a week? I have two cheat days a week. Saturday, Sunday. I just try and go super hard, super consistent, super diligent, super dedicated, uh, Monday to Friday. Inform? Oh. Oh my god. Am I gonna do the weekly objectives? If so, which ones? I'm gonna try and do them all. Dude, I mean, Grinding the game for an 88 rated player in Taliska, who I, I think will be fantastic to use as a left DM. Grinding uh, the game at the same time for an 86 rated player, good for icon crafting uh, or using for a bit of fun in in um, in um, in, uh, in in Ben Arfa. And then same thing with Emre Chan. I, I think that card would be kind of cool to put together or at least have for the um, Serie A club, Serie A squad. So... I think so. I, I'm going to try and do them all if I can. And then uh, the Timothy Wea will do for uh, for squad battles. Oh, yeah, dude. That reminds me. Let me... Uh... What in the fuck? Hold on. Let me just, let me just get rid of... Uh, what's his name? Oh, I forgot about the strength and discipline. Yo, we should do this one before I forget, man. Oh, no. No worries, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. You can't click into SBCs now because it's still a glitch six months into the game where it doesn't let you progress forward for some un for some godforsaken reason where you have to log out and log back in. Uh, Taliska falls over all the time. See, my problem is I don't know how I'm going to fit him in the team. I don't know how I'm gonna fit him in the team. I think I think to fit Taliska in the team, I'd have to take out Ebro, which is unacceptable. But I'll do just to test test Taliska at left DM. And if he's good, then he maybe he'll replace Pogba as my super sub at left DM. I can't imagine anybody would replace Pogba though, unless it's like a Root Hullet or something, man. That Pogba is so good, man. EA hasn't fixed that bug yet. Nope. David Alaba, thank you for the 11. I don't know how I keep falling for this sub scam. Kappa. Hey, man. What do you mean? Hey, man. Huh? What the? Perfectly timed Lotaro. Thank you, bro. Appreciate the... Thank you for using your Twitch Prime sub on me. And that's the first time ever. Never typed in the chat. First time ever. Uses a Prime on me. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> God bless. Um... Okay, ideally, I'd like to use players from the same league, max six, players from the same nation, and we need Bel Belgian players of two. 79 rated is nice and easy, so let's go gold, nation. Uh, what untradeables we have? Maybe starting from lowest. Oh, nothing. Unless I'm willing to use, like, these guys which honestly Amen. probably would be a good time to use these two shithole players in this in this uh upgrade but i will not hey man hype in disguise thank you for the prime bb appreciate you got here we got an one rated 
79 rated and then just go prem around them so i can do that i don't need to go uh, you know the less rare is the better right that's the whole point of this uh maybe a striker type If there's, I don't think there's going to be any on any many or any non-rare um, readables. I thank you, man. Oh shit! Hold on. Uh, there we go. Crystal Palace, but Lester? Do I have a Lester player? I don't have a Leicester player or Crystal Palace player, but that's okay. I don't think I need really either. Um, 79 rated. All right, let's do that. Spot here at left mid. Perfect. That gets the link there. And then I should have a should have an English right mid. I should have a few. Or a shit ton. Or one. So. The rest need to be... Uh, and we're Gucci. Yeah, this is where you gotta make use of all these... Um, all these non-rares. I don't even think I need to worry about like strong links here. I think we're good. I can go with the lowest rating possible first. Perfect. I mean, how easy is that? I actually think cost-wise, as what is what, what would you say that is like four k, five k, right? Discard, discard non rares for a twenty five k pack. Another good SBC from EA. I'm down with that one. Um, so we'll do another twenty one. Air Divisie is done, so I can actually unmark this. I don't really need to worry about the Air Divisie for the time being. The, the other teams are going to take a while to create, and then I'm not missing anything else, right? We can just grind out the final set of uh, of packs here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, and again, before I forget, let's unlock this man's beautiful. Okay, so can I get? Wait, hold on a second. Can I get? I think I can get him now. Let me let me double check. Can we get another eighty-seven rated inform? That's Suso. Uh, where is it? Futswa think that's the final player dudes if you guys are crafting trying to craft and prepare for an icon this is the best value for your time and effort and money 100 percent. yes we got it dudes hell yeah uh we'll go special and then the lowest to highest and he should pop up perfect yeah we'll unlock him yo that's technically three walkouts right does he count as a walkout here hold on Hey, three walkouts, bros, 3,000 likes. We don't even hit 1,000 likes anymore, but that's fine. The meme is 1,000 likes per walkout, so I'm going to ask for it and never get it. I'm that kid on Christmas that asks for a unicorn every Christmas, and Santa's like, ah, fuck you. <laughs> you get Play-Doh. I'm getting Suso for my team. I, yeah, I wouldn't use... I mean, maybe I'll test this card out for the fuck of it, but I... You know. That's, uh... That's gonna be all. <laughs> Play-Doh. I don't know what the hell... Where I come up with that stupid shit. Three-star weak foot, no thanks. 78 finishing isn't great. You know what? Other than his weak foot, that's actually a pretty legit card. Look at the agility and balance, man. You give him a maestro? Or a marksman? Or a dead eye? 80 composure isn't great, so you might even want to consider a sniper, actually. Hey, man. Sniper might be the move. You know what? That's actually not a bad card at all. Rob, thank you for the prime. Bertrand, thank you for the four. Billy, thank you for the 18. God bless you, Billy. I appreciate you, sir. 
All right, let's go discard another fucking eight, eight, eight non-rares. Because I haven't really dealt with the non-rares in my club, man. What do we got? Three 81 pluses and a premium gold player pack to end off the day. So thank you guys for watching. I was actually going to maybe play a game of butt champs, but you know what? Let's save the toxicity for the stream, okay? Uh, I've been dealing with a bunch of BS in Fut Champs. I've been a little bit toxic. I don't want to spread that to the YouTube channel. So if you guys do want to watch me play Fut Champs, twitch.tv slash Nick2018. I stream eh, usually 8 to 10 hours a day, sometimes 12 hours, sometimes 6 or 7. But the average is like 8 to 10 hours a day. If you want to watch me play games and lose my damn mind, highly recommend you check out, obviously, the live streams if you want to do that. So thank you so much for watching. This is going to probably not be um, a very long episode, but... So be it, man. A board from a uh, premium player pack. I'll take that. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I thought he was 84 rated. But, all right. Tradable as well. So then the question is, do I sell? Is he that... Wait, a duplicate? So maybe I... Well, then I absolutely do sell. It's not really worth anything, but... Oh, well. Pause them up. It's 2,500 coins I didn't have initially, you know? Uh, send that onto the trade pile. And then that's, I think, worth a little bit of money too, right? Because the SPC. That. Okay. Let's go. And we get... Ooh, another board. All good. Can we get a walkout in one of these final three? That is a terrible pack. Oh, and on stream, I am doing, if you're wondering for YouTube, like, oh, how does he have, why does he have this extra player, whatever. On stream now, in the, during these events, I'm also just grinding a little bit during the stream. So every win I get, uh, we open an 81 plus pack and a gold uh, two player pack or we do one or the other or whatever just just to make the streams a little bit fun too so there's a bit of a reward for playing gameplay <clears throat> that's gonna be annoying to deal with oh nice thank god dude all right do smash boys come on baby mm. take another board I think we got rid of that Rabio last episode, didn't we? Poor Mendy. So I think uh, I think that should go straight into the club. Come on. Perfect. Oh no. Well, I mean, I guess the good news is, is we do another one. All right. So it's not quite yet the end of the epi here, dudes. We might get caught in this endless circle of me getting an untradeable. <laughs> All right. Get Marcelo, and I think I have a good chunk of league. Uh cards to use oh hi what untradeable league on players we got first go no. considering how many 81 plus packs i'm gonna do i'm actually completely fine with getting rid of that uh, 83s i might regret it but as of right now, um, I'm I'm fine, fine to do that. This means less shit we got to deal with, you know. Go. All right. Looking a little bit late there. I was looking like as I was inputting the team. Did I put anything crazy in there, like uh, an Mbappe? That would have been depressing or upsetting depressing is not the right word <clears throat> okay two more packs buds let's get it is company worth it i would say no but if you're a belgian fan man city fan vincent company fan don't have a great center back yet i guess you can you can you can think about going for them but for me nah i got two good center backs already damn it it's another board though Okay, uh, Nabi Keita. What? Nabi Keita I thought was starting to do well for Liverpool. Why is he not being used anymore? 
I mean, I guess it's not really hurting Liverpool, really, right? Like, they, they still got to win, but... Why is Keita not... I thought he was developing well. He had a couple of good games in the Champions League, and then Klopp is just like, oh, okay, you're gone again. Sorry, bud. Dude, we are... We are caught. We are caught in the endless vortex, dudes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Klopp is big into introducing new guys slowly. Oh, okay. Been a long time viewer. Give me a sub, please. Uh, does anyone want to tell him that he has a sub badge near his name and he's able to type in uh, sub only chat? Anyone uh, want to let that beautiful SWV75 know that he's already subbed to the channel? I guess it's time to get rid of Ben, right? See you later. 240 games played, you legend. You know what? I'm going to hold him. I'm going to keep holding him. That Ben Mendy, I might rinse the, the 86 or 87 Mendy. I might rinse through an SBC and just keep the actual legend of the club, which is his 81 rated card. I'm going to keep him. I'm going to keep him. He was important to the start of the game. Doo-doo. Oh, God. Need to double check, man. He knows now? Yeah, oh, let's go. Good, man. Good. I love seeing my community welcoming someone in via trolling them. Why not, man? It's like a little bit of hazing, right? No big deal. It's a bit of fun. All right, well, we're back to two more 81 plus packs. Holy God, what have we done? 25? This will take us to 25 81 plus packs, right? Come on, man. Give us a walkout. Big boy walkout here. Neymar. Calling it. Just kidding. On the last pack, it'll be Neymar. God damn, though. Board after board, I guess. That's a, that's a, that's a thing. I got rid of Tolisso, so I, I don't think that's a duplicate. I could be wrong. So we've gotten both French board Bayern players, but not Ribery. Feels bad. Okay, final pack of the episode. I love you guys. God bless you all. Neymar's going to be here. We're going to say a, lot, a bunch of no way let's goes, and then we'll end the episode. Come on, BB. And if not, if not, uh, we'll try again next episode. Another board, though. Thank you for watching. 